I find that us as um, melanated beings, we often, we're very comfortable in the childlike state. Mm. You know, the, the conversation of embracing our maturity, mm. embracing our adult functions. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's very few tend to really position that as the forefront of their operation. Mm. A lot of people identify as children, mm. or I'm a child of God, mm. or, uh, you know, referring to their partner, oh, that's my baby. Mm. Or, oh, yeah, do you know about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, going to my crib. Right? <laughs> we, 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 add, we were perpetuating this childlike state. Mm. You've got to grow up at some You've point. You've got to grow up at some point. Take on responsibility. That's what to be God means. Because mm. a God is someone that is in control, mm -hmm. Or that is taking on the responsibility. Mm. And you said about the mask is slipping off. What, what it is, is that when you, when you rise to the top and you open the can of worms and you find out that you're the God that you're calling on. Because as I said before, if you want something, you have to go and get it. Mm. But the thing is, when you tell somebody you're God or goddess in case of a female... It's like, okay, what does that mean? What does that mean? That means now you have to take on the responsibility of healing the sick, mm -hmm. providing the jobs. Make the miracles. Make so the miracles. <laughs> yeah. It's easy when you walk into something yeah, 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 yeah. that someone else has already, Job. as their godliness uh -huh. built, uh -huh. and they're giving you a job mm -hmm. to keep you just over broke. Just over broke. That's yeah. uh, rich dad, poor dad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, if they can do it, you can do it, but now it means you have to work mm. because they tell you God worked, but they make it into like some some magic tricks. Like mm -hmm. God said, let there be light, and let there be this, and let. In reality, nothing works like that. Mm -hmm. You have to plant a seed, water it, water it, mm -hmm. nurture it. The sun as well. Like yep, yeah, the elements mm -hmm. to make that become fruitful. Mm. But you people just want fast food. They don't know how the, the food was grown or how it even came to be. Mm. They just want to drive through and collect it, eat it. But there's no nutrition in that type of food because mm -hmm. there's no love and no care in, mm -hmm. into that food. It's just conveyor belt food. Yeah, absolutely. It's, um, it's the convenience. They, they've swapped the, the, the process that you're mentioning yeah. for the convenience and their time and just seeking for something else. To drive their attention towards. Yes. Yeah. So it's easier to hand it all over to Jesus. Absolutely. Take, Jesus take the will. Yeah. He, <laughs> Jesus is going to, or, or Allah, you know, everyone say, uh, Alhamdulillah, you know, everything is just leave it to Allah. Yeah. But you, you're Allah, you're God, you're Jesus, you're all of that. Because the whole point was to teach you how to become the fisherman. Mm. You see, so it, when you become God in that sense, you have to become responsible. Mm -hmm. for everybody and everything mm. and people don't want to do that because it means work absolutely yeah and and this perhaps would explain why in our community we we get so hooked up on the idea of being children forever mm. um, and i think this is something that's exploited uh, against us mm. uh, because you know as you mentioned at the very start of this conversation facts are the facts mm. and we can't shake them we can't you know our i feel like will not meet yeah them. Yeah. And the facts are, uh, every other community has managed to benefit of our hard work mm. throughout all of these centuries. Yes. You know, so this is not a matter of complaining, but it's a matter of understanding how to plant the right seeds so that we actually grow mm. and stop to perpetuate these bad cycles. Yeah. These cycles where you go to work your whole life until you're 63 mm. to build someone else's company. Mm. And, you know, and for you to just, just about get about, mm. you know. Yeah. Um, so one must graduate to the stage where responsibility has now a new angle to mm. it. You know, you're not you know you're not dreading your responsibilities. You you take them on yeah. with happiness and joy. Yeah. And you do what you must for yourself. That's right. Your you're so right. Yeah. Because you've been taught to take the easy road. Mm. Yeah. But as you say, um, you go through stages, you know, you could be in nursery. Then you go to primary school, secondary school. Then you might go into college and to university and, you know, you can continue learning. Mm -hmm. And if you're in the state of remaining a baby, mm -hmm. you always want to be fed, you do. spoon fed. Mm -hmm. You know, so like you say, you're not going to graduate to the point of 
relying on somebody else. Mm. And one of the sayings that um, our teacher, Dr. Malachi Z. York, uses, he says that the helping hand that you're looking for is at the end of your arm. Hmm. Yeah, so you have to, that, that responsibility comes in. You have to, you ha and now people are doing it. There are lots of people becoming, you know, millionaires. The internet and uh, current technologies are allowing people to be able to, it's opened up now. Like, people can make money from their mobile phones. Mm -hmm. You know, there's many skills and things that you have to evolve to because of the new world we're moving to. Mm. Where you know it is, it is possible now to run a business and do things from just your mobile phone. Absolutely, you know. And, and so many young people and older ones as well are in that conversation now. Yeah. So the the times when you go to university and you come out and there's a job waiting for you for life, those days are over. Yeah. And and the thing is that now you're coming out with debts mm -hmm. because you have to get loans to even go to university and. You know, the knowledge that you can get on the internet and just get from you just sitting at home with a computer, mm -hmm. you can do so many things. Absolutely. Um, but, but like you said before, it, it just goes back to this thing of, are you going to get up and do for yourself? And ironically, what people call wealth um, in the West is all built on things from Africa anyway, mm -hmm. which would be the resources mm -hmm. where... God, Allah, whatever creator you want to use, put all that resource in Africa, the gold, the platinum, the oil, the silver, uranium. the uranium, the cobalt. Mm -hmm. And this is what the West are using to be flourishing and, and making themselves look wealthy. But Absolutely. yet you've got it under your feet as a Melanite, as an African. Mm -hmm. But we just don't know how to grow up, mm. organize, mm -hmm and make use of those resources. Mm. And this is where it's got to be. Africa is the next frontier. Absolutely. Chinese are in Africa. Everybody's mm. going to Africa, yeah. you know, because they realize it's the new economy. It really is. Yeah, it's growing. And so, yeah, we, we are getting to a point where people are starting to realize that they've got to take responsibility, come, come out with inventions, come up with new things and, and um, yeah, produce instead of being consumers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Phenomenal, phenomenal. 